Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the process of gaseous exchange that is happening in human beings. So first let us concentrate on the gaseous exchange that is happening in lungs. Initially we will start a discussion with the oxygen uptake that is happening by the pulmonary blood. In the alveolar air or the air that is rushing into through the nostrils into the alveoli, here the partial pressure of oxygen is about 104 mm of mercury. Whereas in the venous blood, the partial pressure of oxygen is about 40 mm of mercury. So here we can find the difference of the partial pressure is about 64 mm of mercury. Now because of this difference, because of the process of simple diffusion, because of the gradient in this uh, partial pressure of oxygen, what happens? The oxygen, it rushes into the blood. Right? So, after the diffusion, the partial pressure of oxygen raises in to about 95 mm of mercury in the venous blood. Now, let us see what happens in the lungs during the process of carbon dioxide uptake by the alveolar air. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the pulmonary capillaries is about 46 mm of mercury, whereas in the alveolar air, the, carbon, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is about 40 mm of mercury. So, we can see there is a difference about 6 mm of mercury because of this partial pressure of partial pressure difference which is about 6 mm of mercury what happens it results in the diffusion of carbon dioxide from the blood into the alveolar air. So, after the diffusion of the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the pulmonary capillary it decreases to about 40 mm of mercury. So, this was the partial exchange in that is happening in the lungs. Now let us take a look on the exchange that is happening in the tissues. So we have discussed that the blood has been oxygenated well while it has traveled into the lungs. Now the oxygen, the partial pressure of oxygen in this oxygenated blood has raised to about 95 mm of mercury. Now this blood reaches each and every cells and tissues of our body. Whereas the partial pressure in the interstitial fluid that is inside the cells is about 20 mm of mercury, right? So, we can see there is a huge difference because of this huge difference in the partial pressure of oxygen from the blood, oxygen easily diffuses into the cells or the interstitial fluid. So, the rapid diffusion of oxygen into the tissues happen and because of this, the partial pressure of oxygen now falls back to 40 mm of mercury. Now, let us discuss about the carbon dioxide exchange that is happening in the tissues. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the tissues is about 45 to 68 mm of mercury. Whereas in the arterial blood which has been oxygenated from the alveoli, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is about 40 mm of mercury. So you can see there is a quite a high amount of difference of carbon dioxide partial pressure. Because of this, there is rapid diffusion of carbon dioxide from the body to the capillaries. And we have also discussed that the carbon dioxide has 25, 20 to 25 times more solubility in the blood than as compared to that of the oxygen. So, partial pressure of ox carbon dioxide here in the blood, it increases to about 46 mm of mercury. So, in this way, this process of exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen happens in the lungs and in the tissues. So, in this video, we have discussed about the exchange of gases in two places, first of all in the lungs and in the tissues. We have also discussed how oxygen and carbon dioxide is exchanged in the lungs and in the tissues because of the difference in the partial pressures. So, I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.